Aaron, with more women living longer after being diagnosed with breast cancer, cancer is no longer the main cause of death for those patients. Dr. Eric Avalar tells me it's cardiovascular disease. His Yukon study is looking at how to best prevent that from happening. This is an MRI image of a breast cancer patient's heart. The chemotherapy uh, can affect your heart in a way that it becomes weak. Cardiologist Dr. Eric Avalar says that's the reality for cancer patients. His study at Yukon Health Center focuses on the link between chemotherapy and heart disease in patients with breast cancer. Surprisingly, we don't have guidelines and, uh, for detection or treatment um, uh, to protect those patients. I had no idea that you know chemotherapy would have anything or any negatives towards the heart. Tarsha Zenit is taking part in the research. I just wanted to do anything possible for myself and for everybody else to make sure that down the line, you know, you can have more knowledge. Close monitoring of newly diagnosed breast cancer patients through MRI images and biomarkers have yielded early results. By MRI um, uh, evaluation of, of those hearts, uh, the, the heart is getting uh, somewhat bigger. But Dr. Avalar points out it's too soon to tell if that will have a direct impact. The challenge, he says, is how to measure the likelihood of developing symptoms of heart failure after chemotherapy. If you don't really know, you know, what's the baseline response, as you pointed out, then you won't be able to intervene. Possible interventions? You can decrease the dosage of the chemo agent. You could also switch to a different chemo agent. And finally, if those patients really need to be on the cancer treatment, and that's number one priority, then we can start the heart failure treatment at that point and keep the agent. Dr. Avalar says based on the MRIs, it appears the chemo is also having some effect on the liver and lungs, though it's still too early to figure out what impact that has on patients. The study has now been extended to a year after a patient is diagnosed, thanks to funding from the Connecticut Breast Health Initiative. For more information, log on to WTNH.com.